Hello everyone and welcome back to Pi Alien Life. This is Otaku Showboat and today we'll be talking about Pi Science and Chemical Science, aka Orange and Blue. Orange and Blue Science today. If you've been enjoying the tutorial series thus far, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help make this series appear higher up in YouTube search results. You can do all the social stuff through the links in the description below the video, including supporting Pyandon's mods development at patreon.com slash Pyandon and myself at patreon.com slash otaku shobo. So, Pi Science and Blue Science are pretty close to each other in terms of requirements, so I'm going to discuss both of these today. This is like the second-ish time that I am... Uh, recording this particular video because a lot has been modified, shall we say, uh, to Pi Alien Life since the initial recording, uh, and it changed before I even put that video up. So, yay, here we are, recording again. Uh, the first thing to note is that science is now done in research centers. You make the science in research centers now. Uh, that is across the board uh, as a change if you have Pi Alien Life installed. So do bear that in mind. Uh, and also over the course of the day today, I will not use what is it really used for because there, I am on build 1813 and it has not been updated yet. Uh, it does have a, uh, a crash that is associated with it with what is it really used for. Uh, in 1813 right now so we I need to avoid uh, doing those types of searches for stuff uh, in this particular video so that we don't crash that would be bad that would be really bad so orange science aka pie science uh, plastic alien sample ones glassware neuroprocessors moss and alien sample twos blue science is as we have always loved and enjoyed uh, optical fiber, Nexalit, Circuit 2's rubber, stainless steel, tinned cable, and Alien Sample 2's now. So that is the addition to Blue Science with Pi Alien Life. It is you, that you need Alien Sample 2's now. You also need the Alien Sample 2's for Pi Science. And frankly speaking, the Pi Science will be easier to get than a proper setup of Blue Science. But Vat Brains also exist. So... Chances are you are going to end up, once you get access to fetal serum, doing vat brain blue science. I'm sure that this will apply to most people who uh, who are playing through with Pi Alien Life. You will absolutely do vat brain blue science first, and pick up a lot of the normal blue science techs. You will then get Pi science, and progress through the techs that require. Uh, red, green, and pie science. Uh, and then you might want to use a trickle to get the ones that use pie science and blue science, but by that point you will probably have your main blue science set up to pick up the rest of the pie science, blue science techs as well uh, to help out with that. And then you can start to think about transitioning to the purple science uh, production uh, through the Vat Brain computer with uh, with regular blue and green and pie science all set up, you can actually make that transition because noting you need pie, blue, and green to make your purple science. You also need special small parts for this. Special small parts for this. So you're you're pretty much up the creek for a little while until you get to. Uh, uh, some super alloy for that, uh, which also means helium. Yay, helium. Uh, but you'll have access to the uh, the life that will give you helium at that point. But I am getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Uh, so, narrow processors and circuit boards, uh, twos, circuit twos, uh, were quite similar to each other. They were quite similar to each other. Uh, and as we'll see, they're still fairly similar to each other. Uh, note here the optical fiber as well. Optical fiber is used in circuit twos, so do note that. It's also used in neuroprocessors, so you will need, regardless, optical fiber to get your neuroprocessors for your pie science 
as one of the major, major, major components that uh, has one of the higher level of complexities in the making of neuroprocessors. You also need an Nextlet matrix for neuroprocessors. That's that's this stuff. Uh, Nextlet treated wood, boric acid, and vacuum. That's easy enough. You have treated wood from uh, circuit ones. Uh, you also have the uh, capacitors, inductors, and resistors. These are all level ones. These are all from circuit ones. So you have those. Chances are you also have nickel, the ability to slaughter some form of animal uh, into brains, uh, particularly augs, uh, as well as agar from red science, biosamples from green science, and just you have nickel, I'm sure, by now. Uh, so that will just leave the PCB2s, which again is shared with circuit twos, uh, and will require etching solution and uh, therefore like hydrogen peroxide into anthroquinone and all that good, beautiful stuff. Phenol for bacolite, uh, for phenolic boards, uh, for the PCB twos. Uh, I this is like fresh in my mind because I'm just. Uh, doing this on the stream uh, of my Alien Life, Life playthrough, so I, it's fresh in mind on the Circuit 2s, having just made the Optical Fiber. Um, you can refer to the videos that I have on Optical Fiber and making Circuit 2s, uh, the tutorial videos that I have in the main tutorial series. Just note that as of very recently, uh, plastic is no longer available through the vanilla plastic recipe. Uh, that recipe is deleted. It is removed uh, from the game. You do not have access to vanilla plastic anymore, so you have to come up with a alternative method for getting plastic. Uh, it is also much harder to get urea for anything, but definitely I would not suggest using it for ammonia anymore. So just do an another way of getting ammonia. Any other way of getting ammonia outside of urea. Try to avoid that like the plague. Uh, and then organic solvent through uh, syngas acetone. Like, that's that's going to be one of the better ways. And since you need phenol anyway, it's probably better to do the stripped distillates humine process to get phenol and acetone. Cumene into phenol and acetone with the cumene sourced from stripped distillates is probably going to be a decent way to go. And then benzene through cold water slurry fuel from tailings is also another good recipe to use. Just some hint tips there uh, for getting into optical fiber slash eventually also into the uh, PCB choose as you're working on the neuroprocessors. Once you've got your neuroprocessors, and then once you've got Alien Sample 2s, uh, which I will very briefly cover the Alien Sample 2s again so that we're all on the same page, uh, Plastic Sample 1s, which you have from Red Science, uh, you have all of all of this glassware as well from Red Science, you have biosamples from Green Science, DNA polymerase, Primers, microfiber, and formamide are the four newish items. Uh, the polymerase is retrovirus, which uh, you've made for cDNA. Uh, Vrauka cocoons, which you've also made for retrovirus. Lab instruments, which you've also made already for green science and other stuff involved in getting to cDNA. And glassware from red science. That You've got all that. You've got all of those things. Uh, of course, plastic is just plastic. Oop. And then primers, again, lab instruments, incubated petri dishes from Red Science, sap, again, from Red Science, Fowigy, okay, that's easy enough to set up uh, initially. Uh, if you haven't already set that up, it's like, okay, well, now's the time. Uh, and then phytoplankton, which is, again, fairly simple-ish uh, to make. The formamide uh, is going to be your good friend, Ammonia, uh, as well as carbon dioxide, um... If you vat brain blue science, you will have access to the nitrogen, hydrogen, ammonia. If you do not vat brain blue science, you have access to tholin based ammonia. So you have alternatives to urea based ammonia uh, for your formamide. Just keep that in mind. Microfiber comes from fiber 
and sodium hydroxide, which will come from raw fiber. So this is a prime opportunity to set up your kick alk. Uh, prime opportunity to do kick alk, just for reference. If you haven't done kick alk yet, prime opportunity has arisen with, uh, with making alien sample twos. So with that out of the way, uh, and by the way, you need the alien sample twos if you're going to be getting green science alien life, so you can refer to that particular video where I cover the green science alien life uh, to get an idea of what you will need this for. Uh, and then once you get your fetal serum, you'll have you'll have some that brain blue. That will be your pie science done. Once once you've got optical fiber PCB twos, you're basically done with this, and you'll have. You'll have pie science. Congratulations, you have pie science. Going into uh, circuit twos is going to require, if you haven't already, uh, it will require you to set up stainless steel. Uh, to this point, you have not needed to set up stainless steel. Uh, you may have any way to get uh, advanced small parts, but at this point, you will need uh, stainless steel, which will also give you the ferrochromium alloy. Uh, so you'll have stainless steel and ferrochrome setting up, preparing for your blue science and preparing for your resistors as well. And like, what else here is new? Like, okay, you need you need the dope silicon, you need the stainless steel for the dope silicon, and ultimately the only other real thing that you'll need that is brand new here will be batteries and that will require rayon that will require rayon so that is going to be one of if not the biggest items that you are going to need that's not required for neuroprocessors that is required for circuit twos uh it, it is going to be this rayon and rayon uh, as you all well may know by now is inherently a massive pain in the rear, but even more so with Pi Alien Life, with the lack of the ability to push out huge amounts of urea. So this is harder to make with Pi Alien Life because it uses urea directly. You can do ammonia through the nitrogen-hydrogen, ideally. It's Hey, do that do do that brain blue science to get that recipe. Please. And uh yeah, it's like okay, the their carbonyl sulfide. That's the barrel of the carbonyl sulfide. There you Oh right. Don't search. Don't don't search. Continue. <laughs> don't search, Shobo. How many people were screaming at the screen telling me not to do, not to do the search? That, that's the error that happens, by the way. But yeah, so carbonyl sulfide on the uh, on the rayon as well uh, could be a thing that takes you a little bit longer to do. But ultimately, you'll eventually get to batteries. You'll have it again. Refer to my video on circuit twos i think i go over that i don't remember when i did rayon <laughs> honestly i might have a video specifically for rayon i don't remember honestly it's it's been a while but once you get your circuit twos you'll have your blue science and then you can move on f with your life from there that brain purple because you'll have both of these now along with green um and then you'll have access to more animals and you can progress and you can be very happy with yourself and move on to Mark II buildings and all that great glorious stuff. Start making some Mark II animal modules as well because that should be available uh, at that point or at least soon after that point. Uh, you can get up through the uh, assisted embryology so you can do stuff with eggs now. You can make Xenos. You can make Arthurians. He'll be able to make Dingrits as well. Um, Scrondrix. Like most of the rest of the remaining animals will be available to you once you're at blue at, and pie at blue and orange. Uh, so yeah, it just it just becomes 
uh, having uh, a game of having to set these things up. Your new goal will become alien enzymes uh, to get into proper purple science. That'll be your next goal will be alien enzymes. Uh, and likely, it blue science, honestly, is a great point where a lot of helper optimization techs are available to you. And it's a good time to optimize your base. Blue science is a great time to optimize your base as you're as you're working towards purple. Because ultimately at this point that even though it has it has been expanded, there's not a lot of new resources to mine. There's diamonds, there's potentially the regolites if you want to do helium. Maybe like it's it's not a ton of stuff that you have new access to for mining. There's a lot of there's a lot of processes that you need to build. A lot of chains, a lot more new chains that you need to build. There's new life that you can build now, but there's no new resources besides diamonds that are required. So do keep all of this in mind when going forward. This is a great time to optimize. You will also be getting access to high-grade processing of your current ores, some of which you may want to do. So it's a good time, blue science, to set all that up. But I'll leave that all up to you to decide at the time if and when you do get into proper blue science and into pie science. With that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Showboat. If you have enjoyed today's tutorial and the series thus far, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help make this series appear higher up in the YouTube search results. You can do all of the social stuff through the links in the description below the video, including supporting Pyandon's monster development at patreon.com slash Pyandon and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. And I will, of course, see you all on the next one. Thank you.